Hi, and uh, welcome to a new video about the SLA breakdowns that is new in the ServiceNow release. Uh, my name is Goran Lundqvist, uh, also called the Wish Doctor. I've been working with ServiceNow for quite a while now, I've been working in different areas, and even before that I was doing a lot of stuff in the IT world, everything from sitting at the first line to taking the hits and went back to manager, idle process, uh, you name it. And yeah, you can see the pictures and read the stuff. I'm not going to talk too much about it. We're going to talk instead about SLA breakdowns, which like I said is new in the London release. We are going to see and take a little brief look what it is, where you can set it up and what you can do with it when you have all the cool information. So let's see. Let's get directly to my instance. I'm also going to bring the docs just to show you some maintenance so it doesn't affect me at least. Let's hit OK. Wasn't what I was looking for. SLA breakdown. Breakbound. That's a new word. Did you find it? No. Breakdown. So it doesn't really say so much about it. And actually, I was hoping to have a little bit more information. Yeah, here we go. A breakdown means that you can, within an SLA, easily see, okay, how long did this group has it? How long did this assignee have it? How much time of the SLA did they actually sit on this task before moving it on? And so on. Earlier, you could have this kind of information in uh, metrics perhaps since you're measuring the assignment group how long it sits on a record and so on but in this case it gets connected to the SLAs and you can get a real nicer view of actually having the data connected to the task SLAs meaning that you can filter it on a specific SLA and so on and so on it doesn't say so much it doesn't really isn't that complex either to set up the most boring part is that I don't have so much demo data, but I think you can live with that. So, first thing you need to do is actually go to plugins. And of course, there is a plugin for this one. So let's SLA break. I have activated just in case it will take a long time. It didn't do that. There is a nice little note that if you have and messing around with these scripts includes make sure they are up to date because otherwise the calculation won't work and this is a nice way of saying don't touch without the box stuff do your own things instead and just to make sure you just go into the script includes let's take the name we're just going to search for that one we have this one Making sure we have no versions on it, so at least I haven't done anything with it. Neither has a service now, it seems to. Not in my own repair, not in my own little personal dev, at least. And this one. And you can see this one is untouched as well. And of course, you can as well go into the sys update xml.list where all the different changes I have done and look through here as well if you would like to do that. But back to the plugin. Oh, I should be able to find it here even. There we go. Sadly we don't have any demo data but just activate it and it's up and running. Then you go to SLA and we have of course it doesn't contain sla in its name so let's take service level and we have at the bottom breakdown definitions got a couple of new um, tables out of the box this one comes along when you activate it so let's take a look at that one so it doesn't really is that much you define which fields is it that you would like to, to measure and make sure you have it. In this case, out of the box, we have assignment group and assign two, which is actually probably the two, two most we would like to look at. Then you can see, okay, which SLAs are we connecting this breakdown to? So you can either just hit edit here 
and just decide hmm, I would like to have it under priority 5 as well hit save or you can go to the SLA definitions and let's go to priority 3 I don't think I did it on this one I need to go to the right scope and as you can see this one didn't don't have it so I can actually if it had finished loading <laughs> click on edit and just say that I would like to have this one on that as well now it's about it where you do the configuration it isn't harder than that so what does it really show well I have on my other instance a little bit more information and better let's let me just zoom in a little bit like that uh, so I even think incident.list I have uh, I'm just gonna show you just for fun I have some strange issues I think I broke something but the reason I didn't show it on this instance is because if I go to SLA and breakdown I have this really nice fun thing is that when you click on edit it just reloads the page <laughs> which is not how it's supposed to look like but I, I just leave it like that just for the fun I've been playing around I guess I have to wipe the instance I don't have the energy to look why it's not doing as it should so we're going into an incident if I scroll down I hope this was not the one of course I should have the one I've been playing around and moving around huh where is that one that's typical no it should be that one hold on I think the reason why I was fooled is let me just check I don't have assignment group in activity, so I didn't see that it actually was changing the assignment group on those tickets. Let me just double check that this is the correct one. Doing some dancing while it's loaded. Yeah, here we go. Uh, let's see, we have these two and let's click on one of those and if I scroll down this one is the one that didn't work because the SLA wasn't ticking so that's why the percentage is zero let me sheet and go back here and take a look at this one here we go more like it so in this case we have the breakdowns down here you can easily see that the first thing that happened, what it was on the, let me put sort it on the state start. Assignment to a service desk. You can see that it's been doing that. Ah, wrong order. Not like that. It was empty both on assignment group and assignment two for 11 seconds. Then we assigned it to database for one minute. Then Beth got assigned to it for 39 seconds. And then service disk has been sitting with it for 11 hours, which is pretty much 46% of the SLA duration. And if we scroll up, we have some nice reports down here where you can actually see how does the data down here look in a nice graphical way instead. And now, of course, since I don't have so much data, it doesn't really say so much. What you can do in a good way when you have start working with it. Uh, another way just to mention we're talking about data is that when you activate it, it will only start working on the new SLAs that will be attached. It won't do that in history wise. Then you will probably need PA to do the same functionality. But now you can do this without having PA, which is kind of nice. So perhaps we'd like to create a report on this. So let's create a new report. I, I took a quick look. I couldn't find any new reports uh, out of the box that went with the plugin, which is sad. It would be nice to have that out of the box as well. 
So let's call it SLA breakdowns. So normally you use these kinds of reports to see where is the bottleneck, which group is actually sitting on the on the task until it almost breaks and then moves moves it to another group. And then that group is the one that has the task when it breaks, which is kind of, haha, uh -huh, it's your problem. But the table we're looking for is actually named SLA breakdown. I think it was per assignment, by assignment. This is the table SLA underline breakdown. There all the stuff is. Let's just hit that one up. And as you can see, I don't have that much data to show you, but just to give you a hint of what can report you can do. Let's click next. And for example, let's take a bar chart. And just to show you, in this case, I probably will have the assignment groups to see, okay, which assignment group are actually the ones sitting on the different places. But then again, counting the number of times assignment group database comes in that table doesn't really give you so much. So let's average it. And let's actually count the business elapsed time. Since you can see that in this case, you know that service desk had it for 11 hours. Uh, database has this for one minute and so on. And let's go back to the create one and let's hit run again. And in this case, you can see that actually in total service disk is having, let's have the, can we have the sum instead? And in this case, it actually sees, but in this case, in all the SLAs, service disk has been sitting it for 11 hours while database two minutes and empty zero. So in this case, we can see that service disk is the one that has been sitting on all the, the tasks. You can, of course, put a filter on that, saying that uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, we can have the percent, ah, percent of duration. That one might be even better. Uh, percentage of SLA in duration. Let's have the average. And we get that in. Ah, what? what happened? Run. There we go. This might even better. You can see that 46% of the SLA durations in average is services sitting on that one. Kind of hard to show some good stuff without some good data, but I think you get the picture. Um, now I forgot what I was going to show. Yeah, filter on the SLAs. If we look at the table, you can see that the different task SLA is actually a field. So if I only would like to see priority three resolutions, now all of them are that, sadly, but you can easily just Task SLA is priority. If I check one of these, just run. Ah, uh, I would like to dot walk because now we have that exact. SLA definition is priority. If I hit this one, I would have no, no values, but priority three resolution, hit run, then I get my data in. So you can easily filter this to put it down <coughs> to a specific SLA type as well, and SLA definitions. So this was a quick video about SLA breakdowns, a new feature in the London which I probably think that most managers really love to see, to easily pinpoint the different uh, bottlenecks and so on in the process of your insight process, perhaps, change process, you name it. Well, that's about all from me. So thank you very much for watching and have a good weekend.